Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to focus in on the wintry weather we're going to be seeing over the next few days as we do have a real polar plunge coming in from the north and the northeast over the next 24 hours there could be widespread falling snow for many some accumulations are possible especially in the north and over higher ground but perhaps not exclusively we could even see some further southwards and even to low-lying areas is possible but as, as it is the end of march early april it is so uncertain um, and we'll have a look at a range of models today we'll have a look at what the met office is saying as well and then we'll also have a look at a little bit of the longer range stuff um uh, to see what we can have over the next couple of weeks but didn't want to focus on that too much in today's video, uh, as of course it's the immediate hazards um, that we need to have a look at. So remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe, and remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So we do start on the live radar, you can see nothing too much is happening at the moment. We do have a, a bit of patchy precipitation around as we have lower pressure moving in. We have some heavier rain in the south and some patchy precipitation across Midlands into northern England. And you can see right across into parts of Scotland we're starting to see a bit of a weather front moving through. Now this is a bit of a cold front with the colder air pushing in behind it but the real bitterly cold air is in this really unstable air with those wintry showers you can see going into Norway that is where the bitterly cold air is still offshore but it is spreading through over the course of this evening and by sort of tomorrow afternoon it would have spread all the way through southern England as well but you can see a little bit of wintriness over the higher ground starting to appear as cold air does start to undercut it but we've got still good still got a good few hours before um, the wintry sort of cold air mass really does take over. So do you start uh, by having a look at what the Met Office is saying um, for the snow over the next few days. So Met Office actually put out a really interesting tweet earlier that I thought was actually, it, it, well, sort of summarised it really quite well. Um, so snow is in the forecast for tomorrow. While cessing snow is less likely this time of year, we're expecting some mainly over higher ground. Here are the details. So you can see Wednesday daytime, widespread wintry showers, one to two centimetres possible above 100 metres. That's moderate hills, not particularly high elevation, and two to five centimetres above two to 300 metres. Now remember, in the day, because we've got March, April sunshine, it's going to mean uh, there's a lot of radiation in the air uh, or in, in, coming out from the sun and it's going to mean snow is very difficult to uh, sort of remain um, without sort of intense uh, it's of intense precipitation intense snow rates so it's going to be a lot of on and off snow there could be a couple centimeters then it starts to melt then another heavy band comes through or heavy showers so it's going to be a lot of up and down it's not going to be consistent and it could be really quite messy a lot of slushy wet snow around as well if we move further southwards, you can see a band of rain and hill snow pushing south, and there's 40% chance from the Met Office, this is, of snow to low levels, but settling largely confined to higher ground. Moderate hills again, 1 to 200 metres. And you can see for the far south and southwest, no snow risk at all. That's a Wednesday in the day. But if we do have a look at Wednesday night, still 1 to 3 centimetres possible above 100 metres, 4 to 6 centimetres above 400 metres across northeast Scotland. And you can see along the east coast, wintry showers leading to smaller accumulations, mainly over higher ground. But it is likely we could see um, widespread low, uh, widespread light accumulations of snow, simply because the temperatures are going to be dropping, uh, surfaces are going to be cooling as well. So potentially sort of the grass, grassy surfaces, elevated surfaces could get quite a covering of a few centimetres, even in low-lying areas uh, as the air temperatures really do drop. And then for the central England down into the far south and southeast, one to four centimetres of slushy snow is possible, most likely over higher ground, but perhaps not exclusively, and this is because of this weather front that is dropping southwards with the bitterly cold air undercutting it, turning it back to snow. So it could start as rain and turning back to snow. And as we'll see with models in a minute, it's where the most intense precipitation, that's where we could see the heaviest um, or most persistent snow. Um, as I said, evaporative cooling, uh, or as I said in the last few videos, evaporative cooling could really contribute to this. 
um, cooling the air temperatures down really locally. I mean, it could be one or two degrees with where you are with heavy snow, 10, 15 miles away. It's four or five degrees with heavy cold rain. Um, so we could see a scenario like that with really localized accumulations. And we could also see a lot of heavy, wet snow where it doesn't really settle, but it does look like quite beautiful and can be quite disruptive um, coming out of the sky. So we do now have a look at the Met Office warnings. These are what they have officially warned. So that was just a Twitter um, or a tweet from Twitter. But this is the official warnings on their official page. And so far they only have warnings across the far north of Scotland. But I am expecting perhaps to see warnings issued further southwards as well. Perhaps very sort of short notice warnings once these weather fronts are moving in and once wintriness falls from them um, then we could see warnings sort of maybe six hours in advance or only a couple hours in advance so you can see from 10 p.m this evening that's when the first real cold air does start to move into scotland until 10 a.m tomorrow snail snow and hail showers will lead to ice forming on untreated surfaces and hazardous driving conditions you can see this will uh, lead to ice forming on treated surfaces, no accumulations of 1 to 2 centimetres above 100 metres, 2 to 5 centimetres from 2 to 300 metres, and they will continue during daylight hours of Wednesday, but additional lying snow will be mostly over high, um, highest ground, over hills and mountains, because as I said, it is likely to melt because of the radiation coming from the sun this time of year. So very likely... Um, lower end on the impact scale is it's not going to be anything crazy crazy but it could be um, it could, could be decently um, decent amounts and could be a little bit disruptive especially being end of March early April coming off the real warm weather we've had over the last week or two it could be a real real change so we do start now by having a look at the models we'll start with the UK Met Office run this is what some of the uh, one of the runs or the main runs the Met Office warnings are based off and then we'll have a look at the GFS run and we'll also have a look at the Icon run and then we'll finish off with the mid-range have a look at the GFS and the ensembles so these starts you can see precipitation in the south over the course of today and you can see wintriness starting to fall in the north and you can see where we're seeing so, some of those clearer skies and some um, thicker convective clouds pop up that's that bitterly cold air mass moving in so as we run through you can see that weather front starting to sink southwards and it turns the snow into parts of it through wednesday afternoon but UK Met Office run not making too much of it. A bit of wintriness in there, but it's fizzling away. And you see main wintry risk is along that east coast, northern and eastern coastal areas. Through Wednesday night, that weather front eventually does clear. A bit of wintriness with it, but nothing too, too much at all. So UK Met Office run not making too much of it on the latest run. But you can see along the east coast, plenty of wintry showers are moving in through early hours of Thursday. Many areas along northern Scotland, eastern Scotland, all the way down northeast England into east Anglia, and even to parts of the Midlands and the far southeast, could be seeing a few centimetres of snow, especially over elevated surfaces, grassy surfaces, as I said um, earlier. So you can see more widespread wintry showers perhaps coming further inland through the Thursday as the sun gets going, increasing convection and then it slowly starts to die away we could see another persistent band of snow potentially through friday evening through the north into the midlands into central southern england but that's something we need to keep an eye on later because that's still a good four days away and positioning can still change quite drastically another thing we can have a look at is those upper air temperatures as i said that busy cold air is just to the far northeast at the moment and you can see it is spreading in by this evening, by 10 p.m. when that warning starts, it's across northern Scotland, northeast um, England starting to creep into it as well. And you can see it spreads southwards. And by Wednesday afternoon, it is quite widespread, covering all of the country. Minus 8, minus 9, getting down to minus 10 degrees at 850 HP in a few spots. And you can see some brief milder air mixes in through Friday. And that's causing that heavier precipitation, which could fall more snow. And then we see another reinforcement of cold air. And right towards the end, you can see more of a westerly flow starting to push in, but still really cold on the east coast. So another very cold morning on Sunday. Um, and again, another cold day. So you have a look at those max temperatures. It's not going to be great over the next five days, I must say. So today, temperatures are still chilly. You might have felt out there there is a chill to the air, only high single digits, if not maybe 11 or 12 degrees. So it is chilly out there, but it's going to be getting a good five plus degrees colder than this. Through early hours of Wednesday, you can see widespread um, below freezing in the north, maybe mid to high single digits in the south, and by Wednesday afternoon, 11 or 12 degrees on the south coast, across the Midlands, 2 to 5 degrees, and across Scotland, maybe below freezing. Through Wednesday evening, 
you can see widely below freezing widespread frost coming in uh, widely down to sort of minus one minus two minus three degrees and those winter showers coming in off the east coast are going to settle widely um, on frozen surfaces but again where we see more cloud more wintry showers less likely to see frosts forming and those temperatures dropping down as much so it's going to be a sort of getting a mix between those um as i said the coldest temperatures are further westwards where we have clearer skies so more clouds more wintry wintry showers actually going to hold those temperatures up a little bit um than further east further westwards with clearer skies so sort of in between that's where we could see some accumulations again as i said every thursday is going to be a cold day widely uh sort of five to seven maybe eight degrees and then where we see wintry showers could be lower than that and maybe only down to sort of three or four degrees so it's going to be above freezing winteriness will melt away when it does if it does settle so we're not expecting any major long-term accumulations perhaps temporary um but it is going to feel cold out there feel like temperatures will be down to sort of one or two degrees if not below freezing and by early hours of friday widespread frost once again friday in the day cold once again five to eight degrees and similar story on saturday frost once again perhaps a little bit um a little bit up on those overnight temperatures with more cloud around as we have that small uh, sort of disturbance with more precipitation and cloud moving through and by saturday afternoon once again another chilly day five to eight degrees perhaps a bit milder further westwards across ireland and then through the early hours of sunday bitterly cold once again widely below freezing down to minus one minus two minus three degrees uh, and even lower than that is very very possible so it's looking very cold regardless of if you see wintriness um it's going to be really really quite cold and some of course we'll see some snow with that as well so we do have a look at the gfs run now before we run through this i must say it does overdo the widespread nature of the precipitation it does get the location relatively well um but widespread um sort of nature of it is a little bit overdone so do take this with a pinch of salt so you can see wintry showers moving through the north and then we see a heavier precipitation moving through wednesday evening in the south and you can see snow in the center of that weather front where we have the heaviest precipitation again along the lines of evaporative cooling heaviest precipitation causing it to, to turn to snow and then widespread precipitation along the east coast and as i said through thursday when the sun starts to warm the land um we see increased convection and perhaps more widespread wintry showers through thursday lunchtime to the afternoon for slowly sort of petering away and again maybe more some more heavier precipitation in the far southeast through friday for again we see another little weather front push through the north again bringing perhaps some more enhanced precipitation through saturday and sunday before things do start to die away so you can see slightly different positioning of precipitation there um, from the gfs but again broadly very similar with heavier snow risk in the north and the east could be some disturbances further westwards and further southwards which bring more widespread risk of wintriness but at this stage is very very marginal and at the moment we're really only looking at sort of wednesday into thursday with any certainty at all if we do also have a look at the icon run see what that is showing again precipitation moving in from the north you can see turning to snow potentially on its back edge as it moves through early hours of thursday but eventually petering away we see more heavier snow potentially pushing from the east through early hours of thursday widely through thursday afternoon with heavy wintry showers some rain but a lot of it is falling as snow uh, before things do start to die away a little bit and then we see some more precipitation move in could fall to snow once again but uh, you can see by sunday we're starting to see where the front's pushing from the west and that will be milder air pushing in you have a look at these max temperatures milder air out in the west starting to push in through sunday morning so you see through these models there is still a bit of uncertainty but it does look like there will be quite widespread wintriness whether it's massive accumulating snow is unlikely for everyone some areas it is possible especially overnight but at this stage the main risk is heavy falling snow and wet slushy accumulations and of course the risk of ice overnight especially in that initial weather front band or band of precipitation whether it's rain sleet or snow risks from that and of course the wintry showers along that east coast throughout sort of wednesday thursday even into friday as well so you finish the video by just briefly have a look at the gfs and the gfs and ecmdf ensembles now the gfs run hasn't fully come out yet but we'll run out to day 10 just to give us a broad um broad, 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 sort of a broad look at what is happening 
So you can see northeasterly winds taking over bitterly cold, and that high pressure starts to topple um over the top within the colder air bringing slightly milder air in perhaps by sunday monday but still frosts possible so you can see a bit of a milder patch there before we pull the winds back into the north pretty chilly for eventually at day 10 it starts to go westly with that blocking sort of decreasing in strength if you have a look at the upper air temperatures bitterly cold air moving in at the moment and that hangs around all the way till sunday before starts gets pushed away by atlantic air see a reinforcement of some cold air in the north potentially bring things wintry, uh, but most likely more widely just chilly um, through the middle to end of next working week before we see westerly winds win it out once again. So doesn't look like it's lasting very long, perhaps three, four, five days, which is pretty decent um, compared to what we've had so far this winter. Um, and remember, it is spring now, of course, so this is pretty significant spell in spring. If this fell in winter, we'd think just a sort of classic cold spell. But, um, but, but of course, our winter has been pretty dire this year, or had been pretty dire. So it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system, definitely, with this. Um, but it doesn't look like it's going to be lasting much longer than five days. And it does look like, even though we'll remain unsettled, it does look like temperatures will slowly rise towards the middle of the month. So we do have a look at the ensemble, we'll see what they're showing. You see mild at the moment in the south, big drop over the next 24 hours with heavy precipitation moving through, a lot of variability within the ensembles depending on how um, sort of active that front is, but within the cold air getting down to minus 6, minus 7, all the way down to potentially minus 10 degrees at 850 HPA, by far the coldest air mass um, a lot of people have seen so far this uh, so far this winter, the last sort of five months, this coldest air mass coming in end of March, early April, really really cold, cold indeed, lasting all the way around to the 4th, maybe 5th of April. April, depending um, on where you are. Far southeast actually is more likely to hold on to this cold air longer. Have a longer, sorry. And then we rise to around average. Um, a little bit of uncertainty with that, but the majority of the ensemble members are around average or above average around the 6th to the 8th of April, remaining above average with more of a westerly flow with increased precipitation around, meaning it's going to be unsettled, but perhaps a little bit milder, which I think a lot of people will prefer to this bitterly colder air coming through now. If we also have a look at the dew points, you can see bitterly cold over the next five days, but widely after that above freezing, so risk of winteriness is with those shoe points below freezing. And if we have a look at the two meter temperatures, you can see widely sort of five to eight degrees over the next sort of four or five days will be colder, depending on exact microclimates and of course winteriness around as well. But coldest day does look like it will likely be Thursday. Um, and if we do have a look at these new snow death spikes, you can see can significant snow death spikes through Thursday morning. Uh, again, very difficult to say um, if this is just the ensemble members overdoing it. You can see by the models, some of them are going it for it, some of them are not, some of them are even just having very minimal precipitation at all. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with this. Uh, and of course, we'll have more details with this tomorrow. And if we do finally finish up by having a look at the ECBF ensembles and they do very much follow the GFS ensembles with cold over the next five days and returning to around or above average by around the 5th or 6th of April and that's for the foreseeable future with increased precipitation around as well. So yeah, make sure you stay safe out there this week. There is going to be wintry hazards around. It's going to be cold. So do make sure you do dress appropriately and do stay safe out there, especially if you are traveling whenever we have these heavy wintry showers because it can go from sunshine, feeling all right, to bitterly cold with heavy, thick, wet snow coming down in the space of sort of five minutes. So please do take care out there. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.